that, you know, as employers and schools continue to mandate masks and vaccines in their institutions, an uptick is coming in religious exemptions being asked for right here locally. Now, KWW reporter Diego Hernandez is talking with a couple of area pastors today about religious exemptions and if they are legitimate. Tell us more about what they say. Well, Ron, each pastor I spoke with says it's all about truth and honesty when using faith to get out of something like a vaccine or wearing a mask to protect yourself and others from COVID-19. The two I spoke with today told me about a couple of those reasons and why people are now going to the church for an exemption. A lot of it's, it's rooted in caution uh, and that, that hindered conscience. As many continue to question whether or not religion is a legitimate reason to be exempt from a COVID-19 vaccine, local pastors say it is. But we're not saying that every Christian should think this way or that way about it, but again, taking it on a case-by-case -case basis. Candeo Church teaching pastor Jake Herring says many still have worries about the long-term effects of the vaccine and mask wearing. Church members bringing up mental and physical health concerns. We could see how someone could maybe want to be exempt from those things, at least for now. Asking questions and having conversations before granting just anyone an exemption. Is this truly a conscience level issue for you from a religious standpoint? Or is, this simply, or is this something else that you're just trying to use your faith as, as a cover for something else? Because we, we don't want that either because that's disingenuous. Not too far away, a Hudson church is taking a similar stance. The pastor there already signing nearly 50 exemptions related to COVID-19. It's an um, out-of-bounds uh, move by the civil government or even by a business or something like that, something that they don't have that jurisdiction. Pastor Sam Jones writing up this letter to give to any Christians who believe they have no responsibility to obey any other government besides God. Really what it is is that it's, it's self-government. It's not somebody else governing, governing them. And so that's outside of their scope too. And so I try not to think about uh, what other people feel or, or think. And a really important takeaway, though, is both pastors don't want folks abusing religion in order to benefit themselves and maybe even their political beliefs just to get an exemption from the church. In the newsroom, Diego Hernandez, New 7 KWWL. Yeah, Diego, thank you very much. Certainly deserving of discussion. Now, Pastor Herring says less than a handful of exemptions have come out of his church at Candeo, and two were students at Cedar Falls schools to exempt them for now from having to wear a mask in school. Now, both pastors say they really have had no issues, no issues at all with the exemptions being rejected, too.